An excerpt from a local newspaper. Ominous unknown killer is still at large. After weeks of unexplained murders, an ominous unknown killer is still on the rise. After little evidence has been found, a young boy states that he survived one of the killer's attacks and bravely tells his story. I had a bad dream, and I woke up in the middle of the night, says the boy. I saw that for some reason, the window was open. Even though I remember it being closed before I went to bed. So, I got up and shut it once more. Afterwards, I simply crawled under my covers and tried to go back to sleep. But that... That's when I had a strange feeling. Like someone was watching me. I looked up and nearly jumped out of my bed. There, in the little ray of light, illuminating between my curtains, were two eyes. These weren't regular eyes. They they were they were dark, ominous eyes. They were bordered in black and and just plain out terrified me. That's when I saw his mouth. A long, horrendous smile. And made that made every hair on the back of my body stand up. The figure stood there, watching me. Finally, after what seems like forever, he said it. A simple phrase. But he said it in a way only a madman could speak. He said, Go to sleep. I let out a scream, and that's what sent him at me. He pulled a knife aiming at my heart. He jumped up on the bed. I fought back. I kicked. I punched. I rolled around. I tried knocking him off me. That's when my dad busted in. He threw the knife and it went on my dad's shoulder. The man would have probably finished him off, but one of the neighbors had alerted the police. They drove into the parking lot and ran towards the door. The man turned and ran down the hallway. I heard a smash like glass breaking. As I came out of my room, I saw the window was pointing towards the back of my house was broken. I looked out to see him vanish into the distance. I can tell you one thing. I will never forget that face. Those cold eyes and that psychotic smile. They'll, they, they will never leave my head. Police are still looking for this man. If you see anyone that fits the description in the story, please contact your local police department.